this is not a full story time. Um, but I'm gonna address this because a lot of people are asking this question. Um, so who are the Philly goats? Now, when I'm talking right now, I'm talking for myself. I'm not talking for anybody else. I'm just talking for myself, and I'm saying how everything happened in my head. I don't even know the behind-the-scenes shit. I don't know none of that. Nothing. And I'm going to tell you how everything happened. So, y'all locked in? Y'all can tell me uh, this is going on YouTube. So, in the comments, y'all can, um, can say how y'all feel, you know, all that. So, y'all locked in? Let me know if y'all locked in. Yo, and mods, run ads during this. Run ads during this. If they not sub, that's on them. All right, y'all locked in? All right, say no more. So, look. First, first, I'm going to answer, I'm gonna answer every single question. So, when y'all be in the TikTok comments saying this, that, and the third, I'm going to let y'all know. I love you, but please have some sympathy for the broke niggas. I'm sorry. All right, so look, who are the Philly Goats? The Philly Goats is a group, right? That's been a group. Before Shake That Shit came out, they've been a group. They've been called themselves the Philly Goats. Now, who do I know consists of that group? Dice, a.k.a. D Sturdy. You got Spence, the one who be dancing. You got Sue, the light-skinned big nigga uh, with the dreads. You got Lee, the one who made this dance up. You feel me? This dance, that's his dance. Um, And Mikey, if y'all know who that is. Light skin ball, play ball, right? Now, that's the Philly Goats. That's them. They been the Philly Goats, right? The second question. The reason the 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 reason y'all think, oh, two rares of Philly Goat or blah blah blah. When shaking that shit first start blowing up, everybody start being being together because shake that shit start popping because party music start popping. So since everybody was around, they oh Brock a Philly Goat. Brock was never a Philly Goat. Only person who was a Philly Goat was Brill. They added Brill to the Philly Goats because Brill made, made up the, the, the stiff hips. I'm with the squid. Nigga, let me know. If you know, he made that dance up, right? When, when he made that dance up, the stiff hips, they added him to the group. Now it's like, oh, now the Philly Goats own the hips and shake that shit. It was, a, it, was a, it was a smart move. It was the smartest move they could ever do, ever. So it was like, yo, that was good times. Now, the reason we separated, I'm going to get into that, but at the end of the day, I'm not I, I'm not beefing with them. I'm just not cool with them, right? So it's the same way as if, let's say you got a friend that you're close with and somebody is being snaky to them. You don't be cool with the ops. They're the ops now. They're the ops. So so it's, 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 it's not like, oh, I'm going to see you, I'm going to shoot you. It's just like, when I see you, I'm just not going to speak and I'm not going to help with your career or anything you got going on. Now, a lot of people in the TikTok comments comment, oh, it's because such and such, it's because, uh... Rod and, and Rare and Brock got too big and they gotta remember that the Philly Ghost started this and and y'all can eat a dick and y'all can eat a dick. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and y'all can eat a dick. Because at the end of the day, before the shake that shit, the Philly Ghost anything, before y'all knew who any of them was, I was doing YouTube. That's who I am. I'm gonna be true to myself. Y'all see me dropping music, y'all see me dancing. I've been dancing before I've been dancing before the shake that shit shit. And uh, I've been rapping, you know, before the Shake That Shit shit. I've been doing that. But at the end of the day, I always stick to YouTube. So don't put Rod in the lane with them. So if you say, Rod, yo, you a Philly goat, the reason why I take it as an insult is because that's assuming that's assuming that you that mean you loop me with them. So you loop my success with them. So that means every time I get an accolade, you think, damn, the Philly goat's really doing their thing. That's why I take it very passionate because it, it's like, no, the Philly Goats didn't get with Kai. Rod got with Kai. Rod text, Kai text Rod, not the Philly Goats. You feel me? When I met Deshay, I didn't meet Deshay because I was a Philly Goat. I met Deshay because I was Rod. So it's kind of like me doing like YouTube and me getting stuff for YouTube and y'all keep saying, oh my God, the Philly Goats is really doing their thing. No, now that's what I'm saying. I am not a Philly Goat. Imagine you gotta imagine imagine being like on fire. You by yourself, you standing alone, you on fire, and every time you turn up, a group is just getting cool points for it. So now every time y'all go to the y'all they post, I don't know if they saying yo the Philly goats really tough because they the Philly goats or the Philly goats tough because y'all saying that stuff that Too Rare did. Kai hit you up, yeah, he hit me up, and I bring the guys with me. 
but at the end of the day, it's like, is y'all is y'all is y'all praising them because they because of stuff we did or because you feel me, you feel me? And I know that I know that stuff like that happened because Dice and them will go perform and then y'all will say, Yo, Rod, why you wasn't with them? It's like because I'm not them. I'm not them. I'm not a Philly goat. Never been. Now let me let me go to the next question before I explain the whole story because I'm gonna tell you the story, right? Now Rare has never been a Philly goat. Now people like I heard I saw a comment Rare got too big headed for itself. Blah blah blah. Yo, we can go back to the dates, right? We can go back to the dates. Rare was never a Philly goat. He was just hanging with niggas. Rare's not a hater, and I don't want y'all to bash anybody after I tell y'all the story. But this, I'm not cool with them for my own reason. It's not for the simple fact. I told y'all earlier, like, oh, yeah, when 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 my niggas stop fucking with them, I stop fucking with them. It's reasons I stop fucking with them, too. And I'm going to get into it. And I wasn't going to tell the story, blah, 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 all this. But now it's like, it's public now. Everybody know. Everybody knows. So y'all might, y'all might as well fully know. So we're going to get into it. Before I start hanging around the goats or whatever, I had 40K. I saw a nigga said, Rod, the goats made you. I have never been made up of a dance trend. If that's if that was the case, when that go out the window, that means I'm going to disappear. I'm not going to disappear. Y'all know who's going to disappear? People who depend on that wave. When that wave is gone, the, 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 the niggas on that wave going to die. I am a YouTuber at the end of the day. I'm not an influencer. Influencers are people that's on non-mainstream media platforms. So what do I mean by that? TikTok is big as shit, but it's not a mainstream platform. You can have a million followers one day, and they can ban you the next day. And you got to make a new page and hope people remember your face. Pages that get you going like that, I don't consider those mainstream platforms. So people with a million on TikTok, uh, blah, blah, blah. They transfer over to Instagram is a mainstream platform. Platforms that you got to work hard on, YouTube, Instagram, not shit like TikTok. Th- those are influencers. I call those influencers. You feel me? Those people that's made up of dances. When dances stop, what they going to do? My personality is the reason I got clout. Story times, me telling y'all, y'all know me, y'all know my name. I don't know these niggas' names. So when they transfer over, so I was an influencer. So boom, yeah, I'm, I'm a TikToker. I do skits, blah, blah, blah. And now I switched over to a YouTuber. Trey Rags, if he stayed on TikTok and they banned him, and he would have just disappeared off the face of earth. Think about it. All y'all in here, y'all know who Trey Rags is because of when he was on TikTok. Even if y'all don't listen to him now, the nigga is about to hit a million subscribers. It's a million people who know him. That's why when I was doing skits and stuff, day one in Philly, everybody like, yo, young boy, you fell off. No, you fell off of me. You fell off of me because you don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm not on that that fake-ass false platform. I'm not on the false platform to keep doing skits and hoping that I don't get banned and keep retrying and not making money. TikTok does not pay good money at all. So I got, I got off the platform, as I should, which was very smart. You feel me? That's like dropping good sounds on TikTok that keep blowing up, but you don't take it to actually make it a real song or... A music video so you can make money off of it and become a rapper, which you, that's the that's the difference between the, the platforms, right? Know your worth exactly. Now let's get into it. Now my reason of saying uh that is before any of the Philly goat shit, the dancing shit, blah blah blah. I don't need nobody saying they made me. I had forty k before I even met these niggas. Now the Philly goats Truman, they from Philly, and the Philly goats as in Dice, right, bro. Sue and they just added Brill too, cause Brill Brill was a truck boy and if you're from Philly you know he was a truck boy and he was a Philly goat. So all these people they Philly goats right? Now you see two rare with the Philly goats. You see Brock with the Philly goats. They're not Philly goats. They never was. They was with them. Now everybody turning up. They at Brock house every day making videos. Bro, Wuda is from Philly, and and he never claimed Philly. But soon as Philly start Truman, he came back and now he chilling with the Philly goats too. You feel me? Everybody there. Now, I'm going to be real transparent with y'all because I never lie, right? I never lie. I never have no reason to lie. I hit up Wuda. Out of any of them, I don't care about the clout they had. I hit up Wuda because he's a YouTuber. I said, yo, bro, you want to do some vids with me? Brody, Broski left me on scene. He left me on scene. I text Brock because I know Brock. I said, yo, Brock, you think you can hook me up with him? Brock like, yo, I think you should get with Broski. Brock told me. 
Brock told me, would have said no. Like, he, he basically, like, flagged me off. Like, no, nah, I ain't doing that with young boy. I guess it was because I was too small. Would have flagged me off. He basically said, I'm not doing nothing with him. Like, like basically, like, I'm not going to help him out. I'm like, you from Philly and you're a YouTuber, bro. You think you can, you can help me? Now, I see if he didn't see my message or if I thought, damn, he didn't see it. He saw my message. We text before. We text before because we was talking about something of involving Brill. So I'm out of the request. And you you watched my story a couple times. He never followed me back, and he never helped me out. Basically was saying, no, fuck out of here. Right? Now, the way I was posting videos was I lived in the projects, right? And when I lived in the projects, I was streaming every single day. If you're OG, you know I was streaming every single day in the projects. And I'm, I'm real, like, I'm real... I'm real uh, motivated and consistent on YouTube. Now, the only time he was getting content out was when he was doing something with Lena. Lena was so bad. Wuda is my mans now. Y'all can say L, mans. That is an L. It's an L move. If he watching this, bro, you're an L for that. You know you're L for that, right? The only time he was getting content out when he was doing content with Lena. Lena was so horrible for him. This is my mans. I'm glad he got away from her. She was L. If, if. Let's say I get a girlfriend today or tomorrow, right? Right? Let's say I get a girlfriend today or tomorrow. And the only content y'all start liking is what my girl. And my girl like, no, I don't want to do videos. That's basically what was happening. She's basically saying, I don't feel like it today. And, and he always want to work. And she just was saying no. But she want to spend money. But she don't want to work. That's the truth. Now, I never sp spoke on a situation. Because it was a situation. They not together no more. I don't owe loyalty to Lena. She was lazy. You feel me? Like, she was just lazy. She never wanted to do nothing with him. Now, the, I'm going to tell y'all, that's going to make sense later. But, look. The first time I got in contact with the Philly Goats, Brill actually hit me back, right? So, you posting this on YouTube because I done missed the whole... Yeah, I'm posting this on YouTube. I text Brill. He actually hit me back. And I text Brill on the type time, like, yo, bro, you want to get on the E-date? He's like, yeah, I'm going to get on the E-date. But, basically, TMT, he was dating TMT at the time. She like, no, he can't get on the E-date. Like, or whoever his girl was at the time. I don't know if it was TMT. She be like, yeah, you, he not getting on the E-date, right? They go all, out on a trip all together. I'm like, yo, bro, hop on this E-date. Like, I'm telling them again. Y'all keep saying, get bro on the stream, get bro on the stream. I'm like, yo, hop on this E-date. He say, bro, I'm out the town. I got you. He went against what his girlfriend said. He still got got on the joint with me. All Now, that's that's the E-date with Star that y'all see on YouTube. That's the first time I got in contact with the Philly Goats. They all hopped on there. And boom, boom, boom. Now they doing the, the E-date, blah, blah, blah. The E date go up. It shoot, right? If you remember that E date, it shot. That's my first time contacting the Philly Goats. Boom. Now at that time we already had 40k. I'm gonna keep saying this because people say, yeah, Rod got too big for self. And they made you. They didn't make shit. And out of that month, that video did the fifth best. I just wanna make that known. But um, and that's that's not even like, yeah, bro being cocky. I just need y'all to know. Like niggas don't niggas ain't make me. When I, when I hit up a nigga, think about this. When I hit up a nigga to say, yo, bro, let's do this video, I drive to them, I pick them up, I drop them back off home, I feed them, I think of the idea, I film it, I edit it, I post it. They can do the same thing I'm doing. Every single person. Too Rare can have a YouTube, Bro can have a YouTube, Dice can have a YouTube, Sue can have one, Brock can have one, everybody in Philadelphia can have a YouTube. You can have a YouTube. Nas can have one, my mom can have one, but they just don't do the work. I do the work. My channel, my work, my ideas, I do it. Now, that's my first time meeting them, right? That's my first time meeting them and all that. So now we locked in, they know who I am, right? They know of me, right? The second time I meet them, right? I go to a party and they dancing, right? If you remember it, uh, they dancing and shit. And they like, yeah, spin's tough, he the best, blah, blah, blah. So I hop in a circle, I do Jersey. Now, basically... What the Philly Ghosts do in a dance battle is they downplay you. Like, even if they feel like it's tough, they're going to look at you like you're dumb. And then they're going to push their mans in and go, ah, 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 ah. So now it's like, damn, you just lost. No. But they, they, they fucked the wrong one. I get in a circle. I do a serious jersey shit. They shit. That shit ass. But everybody's saying, oh, oh. Then they get in, right? They get in. They tanging and all that, right? So after that, that's when they that's when they really start like giving me a little more respect. They like, yeah, Rob be doing that weird ass jersey shit, blah, 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 all this. So now they know we done saw each other. We done saw each other. I'm going with Spence and Dice at Powerhouse. I'm going, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go through the whole timeline. I'm going to go through the whole timeline up until Powerhouse tomorrow. I'm going to tell you the whole timeline. So that's their second time meeting me. I battled Spence and Moosey, 1v2. 
Um, boom. That's when Shade Boys was popping, if you remember them. Like, bro, pff, niggas done fell off. So, boom, I done battled them all that. That's before I even learned hits. I was doing straight Jersey Club. You feel me? Shout out Jersey. I fuck with Jersey, by the way. There's no beef with me and y'all. So, um, we need a tank tutorial. Uh, I'm doing dance lessons today, too, because today is a long stream. Bro, got nut on his shirt. I don't got nut on my shirt. It's, um, fucking deodorant. Did you win? Yeah, I won. <laughs> yeah, I won. But look, we fuck with you, too? Bro, I love y'all, bro. It's, it's never been no beef, and I don't care who started the dance. I'm just doing it. I'm just a nigga doing it. Now, look, right? Shake that shit drop. Shake that shit. Hey, shake that shit. Now, basically, what the Philly Goats was doing is anybody who have a big impact on the Shake That Shit wave, they was adding them to the group, right? So now, now that's what got y'all thinking. Damn, everybody that's with them a Philly Goat. So now they add Wiz to the to the group, right? So now they got Brill and Wiz. Now it was like Wiz just made that. He going down the hall with a serious face. Oh, oh, right. Now this one we should have knew they was sneaky, right? Wiz, right? They drop shake that shit and go up and hit millions. Now they not just a group called the Philly Goats who made a dance. They rappers, right? Now they rappers, right? Now it was only dice on that song. So technically, yes, y'all the Philly Goats, right? But who dropped the song? That's like me that's like saying, Yeah, we five star. And they're like, Yeah, but we only want Rod because he's the star. That's that's how it's gonna happen, y'all. So they so the rap the rapper the rapping companies are only looking at dice. Spence wasn't on the song. And neither was Sue. And or none of the other Philly Goals. Brill is was going up off stiff hips and his looks. You feel me? So it's three things you it's, it's a bunch of things. I'm not gonna say it's three things. It's a couple things you could go up off. You go off your looks, you go off being funny, you go off your tactics, uh your, your antics. And what I mean by tactic and antics is the things you do. So like what speed does, like dumbass shit, like lighting a firecracker in your room, like the shit that you actually do. Um or it's a number of things, but uh Brill was Brill was just as strong and clout as the Philly Goats as a group. And that's only because the only one who was pushing them up was Dice. Now, Spence started getting active on TikTok. He started dancing. Now he's pushing the group up. Now it's like, yo, they just too great. Spence is a great dancer. Oh my gosh, he is a great dancer. Now if y'all think if y'all say y'all about to say, yo, Rod, you think you'll beat him in a dance battle? Absolutely. If you put us in a you get a minute and thirty, pick your song, judges gonna pick how dance battles happen, like in Jersey, cause I, 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 all that's the only place I did dance battle. I think I'm gonna win. That's debatable though. Y'all can feel how y'all wanna feel. That, that, that don't matter. That's not a part of the story. But he start adding to the, um, he start adding to the, he start adding to the John, right? Now you got the one to be Philly goats. You got people who get clout on the side and add to the Philly goats legacy. Now I'm really trying to point out, point out to y'all how these niggas blew up. You got, look, for example, you got people like Lil. He made the slow-mo, right? And then, then he, he claimed, yeah, I want to be a Philly Goat. So now all these people who add into the legacies, all these Spence clones, all these people like, yeah, I'm Brill Dad, and all this. It's like, yo, the Philly Goat's really popping. They got the world. They got TikTok. Boom. Philly Goat's on everything. Boom. Philly Goat's on everything. And you forget. And you forget, right? You forget that, damn, too rare not a Philly Goat. So when he dropped Cupid, it's like, uh-uh-uh-uh. It's like, no, you forget, damn, oh shit, he not a Philly Goat. You forget, Brock dancing every day. Yo, he my favorite dancer. Damn, he not a Philly Goat. You forget, yo, Rod with them now. Rod been with them now. Oh, he not a Philly Goat. You just look at us all, and you be like, yo, Philly Goats, ah. So when you be like, Philly Goats made y'all, you forget, we never was a Philly Goat. You got to remember that Too Rare been rapping for years. Broski making it out the hood. You got to be proud of him, bro. Too Rare has been rapping for years. And it's not saying, like, bro, bro been trying for years. He couldn't make it. Bro been grinding for years. He had his chance, and he said, yo, last time that I last time I was at that top, I didn't push. So next time I get there again, I'm going to push. If you really from Philly, um, Big Dripper, Brotherly Love, if you know those songs, he been, that's before any dancing shit. That's back when Zasosa and Brad Grado was popping, right? Y'all niggas supposed to stick together? Listen, you didn't ever hear the sneaky shit. I'm just giving y'all a backstory of why y'all think we all Philly Goats. What even is a Philly Goat? That's their group name. And I'm not even hating on them niggas, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Spence is a good dancer. He just, he just, he just a big kid, right? I personally think Dice can't rap at all. I think he's a lucky kid. And who else? 
and uh, Sue is the reason that Philly Goats is not going to be Greek. And all this going to make sense. Y'all niggas got makeup. It's too late, bro. Now, now, I'm, now, now, let's get into it, right? So, so that's that's why when I say, yo, I'm not a Philly goat, it's like, come on, bro, y'all, 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 y'all tagging me and all the great shit I do go to them. Imagine if every time I go up, they think, yo, we want the Philly goats, and they hit up dice in them, like, yeah, let me book y'all, and they'll never know, like, yo, we they booking y'all off the legacy and the wave. They're not even booking y'all because of y'all three. Feel me? They booking y'all because the wave hot. Like, even my group being called Five Star, if you're a real supporter of me, I've been calling me, Nas, Leak, I've been calling us Five Star for three years. Imagine if the twins, they name Five Star. Imagine if they think, yo, ride with the twins. Yo, let's book y'all. I wonder if shit like that happened. I be, I be thinking, like, yo, do y'all get money off of us? Yo, bro, we want to get Five Star. Y'all think Rod could come? Are they going to say, oh, no, we not what Rod, or is they going to get the booking? I, I just want to know. That's stuff I be thinking about. Yo, the Philly Goats, y'all think y'all could come through with two rare? Oh, uh, two rare can't make it, but we can still make it. Oh, I bet. I be wondering, like, bro, do these niggas get money off of us? I really be thinking that. Genuinely. Now, um, let's get into it. Let's get into why, where I peep, I peep shit, right? Now I knew I knew Brill. I was closest with Brill. Now the only reason, now the only reason I got into because meeting people, meeting people with clout, they're arrogant. I'm not gonna lie. I am not arrogant. I refuse to be like that because I see how they are. I'm not gonna call out names, but they're arrogant. You won't meet people who got clout because they on a type time like, oh, I don't want to meet you. Yo, when you see me in person, yo, Rod, I could take a pick. I say yes every time. I told myself I am never ever gonna deny a pick. Ever. I'm never going to tell a fan no. I'm never going to be on some rude shit. Because at the end of the day, y'all the reason that I'm up. I'm only up because of y'all. Nah, Max is a different five star. I'm a different five star. The Twins is a different five star. Right? So, Pete. Pete. And I'm going I'm to be, bro, I'm transparent with y'all, right? Now, the only reason I got into the group, right? Is because Brock. So so thank Brock. Because I'm not going to say... I'm, they didn't help me at all. They definitely helped me. And I'm glad I met these people. They, they're changing my life, bro. I'm in a group with these niggas. I'm in a group with these niggas. Like, I'm going to tell you all the niggas I'm in a group with. You feel me? Could you quickly name all the five-star members? So Max, that's his five-star. Me, my five-star. Me, Leaf. Me, Leak. Leak will be with me. Nas, my brother. Um, Key, if you know who Key is, Key Pickle. And uh and uh Nook. That's if he still wanna be five star. That's a whole nother conversation. I'ma be real, bro. Y'all gonna go farther together. Make up. Nah, that shit did, bro. Now let's get to it. Who's the twins? If you don't know them, I ain't, I ain't shining no lights on niggas. Look. So, what about the girls? Uh, yeah, Star, Star. My fault, Star. No, not Saya. She's not five-star no more. Star, yeah, Star. Yeah, yeah, Star, Star. My fault. Now, look. Brock is the only reason that I got close with everybody. So, Brock House was the meetup spot, right? So, he already tried to help me out with Wuda. Wuda said, no, I'm not fucking with Broski. Right? Uh, Brill already helped me, but I didn't want to be annoying. Like, it's like, it's hard to collab with niggas. Like, imagine Kai bringing me on stream, and now I'm calling him. Like, yo, bro, let's do something again. It's like, when is the next time you do something? So I'm like, yo, bro, let me come to the crib and dance with y'all niggas. So he said, yeah. So I come to the crib. They like, yo, you really can dance. I'm like, yeah, nigga. Like, I'm showing out. I'm showing out on purpose. I'm showing out on purpose. I'm showing y'all, like, nigga, I'm, I'm him. Like, you feel me? And I got my own clout. After that day, I got cooler with Brill. That's when y'all see the video of, um, that's when y'all saw the video, because I'm mapping this shit out. That's when you see the video with me and Brill doing a mukbang in the car. The car was dark. Um, and we was talking about, do we have a girlfriend? Because it was a lot of controversy with him and girls, right? After that, me and, me and Brill became mans, right? So now me and Brill mans, me and Brock mans, right? So now 
they invited me to the and and Wuda and Brill was like this. So now since Brill wanna be with me, Wuda on the type of time like, oh he know who I am now. What's up? He not really invested in my career. He still don't want to help me. He, he still don't give a fuck. But he just like, mm -hmm, what's up? So now he know who I am. Everybody know who I am. The goats come around sometimes. They what's up, right? So now I'm cool with the whole group. Everything started when I wanted to uh, get endorsed by Humble. So Leek is my manager. And he said, yo, I think it would be smart if you push Humble because you're from Philly and you got clout. So I'm like, bet. So uh, Leek hit up Humble Zay. And Humble Zay, like, um, dice be musty. No, he don't be stinking, bro. That girl who said that, she lying. She tried to be thorough and all that. Like, I'm never going to lie on these niggas. Like, yeah, Spence can't dance. Dice be stinking. All oh, this. I'm saying all honest shit, bro. Like, no. Dice never, I never smelled Dice and be like, yo, he stink. No. He don't stink. But, um, Leek said, I think it would be good if you go with Humble. We hit up Humble and basically, like, Humble, like, uh, I got y'all, but he never called us back. He like, I'm going to call y'all, but never call us back. All right, I'm, yeah, I'm going to call you this day. I'm going to never call us back. So I, I, I said, Leek, you stop hitting him up. I'm going to hit him up myself. So I hit him up myself, and he like, bet, come down with Brill. Now I'm a part of the Humble team, right? I'm a part of the Humble team. We're having a meeting with all the niggas. Me, Wuda, the Goats, Too Rare, everybody. We're having a meeting at the Humble, and we basically saying, how are we going to push Humble to be the greatest brand in the world? Mind you, when I cut one person off, everybody don't get cut off. It's not like, it's not like, um... Oh, our dice acting weird. Now fuck the rest of the goats. Oh, two rear acting weird. Now fuck rigs. Oh, brill acting weird. Fuck money now. It's not like that. So if I don't fuck with somebody, they did something by their own self. Now, humble. I'm a part of the humble team. Everything going together, right? Then the whole story is jumbled, and I never thought. I never. I was always thinking like, damn, I can't tell the story because I, I might lose. I might lose my bonds and 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 and. Y'all remember, if you a real OG, you remember, I said, I'm going to tell you how niggas really snaky and corrupt. I'm really about to tell y'all, bro. We go to Roots Picnics. Let me look that up. Roots Picnics is the first time I, I heard. Root, and I'm not speaking for nobody. I'm not speaking for nobody. I'm not saying why niggas. Roots Picnics 2022. When was that? All right. June 4th. June 4th. Four months ago. Four months ago is when everything changed, right? Four months ago, we go to Roots Picnic. It's me. Too many groups to keep up. It's only one group. Philly Goose. It might be too much to keep up. Who in the group? Dice, Spence, Sue. That's it. Just remember that. Look. Now, I go to Root Picnic. It's me, Leek, and the Philly Goose. Dice, Spence, Sue. Right? We go there, and we looking, and we like, yo, we got to be as big as Chief Keith one day. We got to be as big as... Alicia Keys, they all at Roots Picnic, and we see Alicia Keys, we see everybody, they performing, and it's like, yo, they really turning it up, it's like, yo, let's go, like, it's like, yo, like, damn, bro, like, they really big, like, yo, now, Dicey, Dice, he says out his mouth, he say, yeah, I think I'm performing today, I got a backstage pass, so he got a backstage pass around his neck, so I'm like, damn, that's thorough. So I'm like, yo, how we get back there? We can get backstage. That's tough. Everybody, everybody, like, yo, we get big. We can we get back backstage, right? And we walk to the backstage, John, and Dice go back there, right? And he only got one backstage, John. So he leave, and mind you, it's cold outside, but we mobbing together. So he only got one backstage pass, and he basically on the type of time like, y'all niggas can stay out here. Y'all niggas can stay out here. Like, I'm about to go backstage. Bro went backstage by himself, left us out the John. I'm like, damn, I was fucked up. Like, damn, that's crazy, right? So, but it's like, cool. All right, we wait for him. After we wait for him, we leaving and shit. He's like, yeah, I could have performed, but I didn't really want to. Y'all know, know when somebody lying and say something weird? He probably not lying, but it sound like he lying because cause it's, it's, it's just on the type of time. Like, yeah, I could have, but I didn't want to. Why would you not want to perform at a performance with over 50,000 people as a rapper? So it just sound like he lying. He, yeah, I heard, I heard now, now, look. I heard Rare was supposed to perform at this joint. That's what Leek say. And then Dice say, Rare not big enough to be on that stage. What? You tweaking. Like, what? So I, I felt like that was a little shady because I'm like, damn, like, if we was all, like, with each other, you wouldn't say that. Now, I don't go back and tell Rare because that's none of my business. But at the end of the day, I'm just thinking, like, damn, that's, that's a little fucked up. I go, I ask them. I say, I ask the goats. I'm like, yo, we about to do this vid, blah, blah, blah. 
the day we meet up, we all do the vids and shit. We go on the parties together. I'm driving them around. My car, by the way. None of them drive. I never ask for gas money or none of that. And when I do vids with people, I say, yo, when you're doing vids with me, I'm paying for the food for the day. So I'm, I'm paying for the food for that day, all that. They don't got to pay for nothing. They just chilling. When you would ride, because as a rapper, really think about it. If you're not signed, where's your money coming from? YouTube, you don't drop that many mu music videos. You're not dropping the audios, and TikTok don't pay. Niggas is broke. Come on, bro. Like, n niggas broke, bro. Niggas broke. YouTubers make more money than rappers. That's not big as shit. You feel me? If you're not big as shit, you don't make money. And I know that. So when niggas cap, nigga, what the fuck? You saying cap, and you about to compare... You about to compare these niggas to a situation with you like, oh, SoundCloud does this and all this. They wasn't dropping that much music. They living off fame from Shake That Shit. They didn't even drop Remember. Bug a little bitch, remember me. They didn't drop that yet. Let me go to their music. None of this was dropped. Only Shake That Shit was out. So if you about to say that bro is living for two more months off Only Shake That, a whole group of three niggas is living off one nigga. Then you just, like, what? Or if you, what, what you about to say? TikTok cut that bag? Because they don't. At all. You about to just dick eat. Don't dick eat me. Alright, so boom. Right? Now, and mind you, for the nigga who said too rare, don't make uh, the type of music he do... Not gonna last, bro. You gotta remember the regular songs that he doing. If you saying the music that he make not gonna last, and you talking about uh, club music, then what the fuck is the Philly Goats gonna do? Cause I haven't heard a regular song yet. Rare started with regular songs. My voice make you wanna finish. Now you saying gay shit? You're, you're done. Back to the story, bro. I pick up the goats, all, all that, we chillin', we out, right? And this is not the brag when I said I was doing stuff for them. I genuinely was like, yo, Leek, do we have it in the budget to make sure these niggas eat? We have a budget, bro. We have a budget. I need to make sure I don't spend over this much amount so my money can stretch. Right? I said, is it in the budget? He said, yo. And mind you, I was only making 2000 off YouTube a month at this time. He said, yo, if we if we spend money on these niggas because we just filled up the tank next week for two, two, three days, like, we ain't going to be able to eat. I'm like, bro, fuck it. I'm going to look out for the cookout and make sure niggas eat. That's how thorough I was being, bro. Like, you feel me? And when y'all say only, y'all got to remember. Only, only 2K a month is wild. No, that's because I make more than that now. So I say only. Uh, it's not a flex. I don't want flex or brag to y'all. You feel me? Nothing like that. I'm in the car with these niggas. And they just talking shit on rear, bro. They just talking shit on rear. And it's making me uncomfortable. So I go from interacting the conversation. And I look at Leek. And Leek does this, right? When Leek does that, he my manager. He don't control me. I'm not no puppet. None of that. He my manager. And I pick, a ma I pick my manager to be somebody I trust. Because at the end of the day, they got my best interest at heart. He say, yo. This means say nothing. He don't want me to put my input in because now I'm, 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 you feel me? That means, yo, you talking shit about Rare too. Because I'm like, damn, Rare did do that. I'm like, wait, wait, why would this happen? And it's like, yeah, Rare just not, like, he just be on nut shit. So Leek just tell me to shut up. Leek said, yo, stop saying shit. Stop saying shit, right? Now, at the same time this is going on, Humble, right? Let's talk about Humble. Humble. Humble is thorough, bro. Humble Zay is thorough. We've been through our up and downs, but he is my fucking guy. A lot of people don't fuck with Humble, but I don't fuck with him. But uh, I fuck with Humble. Right? Oh, all right. A lot of people don't fuck with Humble, but I fuck with Humble, right? Humble give me my first contract. If you do this amount of promotion to make sure the brand go big, I give you this amount of money, right? This happened a day before this, the time they was talking shit on Rare. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is when we about to get into why I don't fuck with the individual people, right? 
Zay say, yo, I'm gonna give you this amount of money. I'm not gonna disclose it for doing this amount of stuff. I say, bet. Let's go. That's tough, right? And I say, all right, bet. Now, everybody about to go out. Everybody had their meeting with Zay about how much money they're gonna make. We get in the car, right? Now, I'm gonna tell you the type of people these people are behind the scenes, right? Dice is very arrogant. Uh, when I use that word, I don't use, I don't, I don't mean like maximum amount of arrogant. I just mean like, he on some shit like, yeah, I'm the shit. I made it. I'm the man. Uh, right. Spence is on some, just want to have fun shit. He just want to have fun and dance. Literally. He never on no arrogant shit. He never try to overdress, over impress. Um, you feel me? If bro just wearing the same clothes from yesterday, not saying he dirty or nothing, but if he happened to just wear the same clothes from yesterday, he chilling. Like, he, he not arrogant or nothing. I fuck with that. Um, bro, just dance. You feel me? We, come on, bro, dance. No, I don't want to. He just had fun with it, bro. And he genuinely funny. He a comedian. He's funny, bro. Oh, my gosh. He's funny. Um, and Sue? Sue's a hater. I think w without Sue, the group would be successful. Um, yeah. He just be on a type time. I feel like he start the gossip. Like, I feel like... And I feel like um, Dice is, is a little dumb a little bit because if Sue wasn't there, I don't feel like we would be beefing with them because Dicey is like a vessel. And he's the oldest out of them, so it's kind of like, why are you the vessel? Uh, What I mean by that is, like, if niggas around him talking shit, around Dice talking shit, he gonna talk shit. But if niggas around him saying, like, yeah, rare the best, he gonna be like, yeah, rare the best. It's like... It's like, bro, it's like, come on, bro. Have your own mind a little bit. He don't got his own mind. That's what it is. He arrogant and he don't got his own mind. He's like a puppet. You feel me? It's not like he a glazer. You're not a dick eater. Dick eater mean like of your own free will, you dick eating. It's just like a follower. Yeah, just following. So... Like, and I knew Sue was this type of person because we'll leave a humble meeting smiling. Like, all right, we all agree with humble. As soon as we leave humble, it'd be like, yo, I ain't like, I ain't like how, yo, I, don't, I ain't like how he did this. I don't like how he did that. And be like, uh, that was, it was, uh, I don't know. It's just like he always rebel, rebelling against certain ideas and talking shit on stuff that don't need shit. Like, you feel me? If you say you love these people and you fuck with these people, that's not what you do. You feel me? So now I feel like, damn, after smiling in my face and saying, all right, see you, Rod, he probably say, that nigga Rod annoying. Like, that's the type of bull he is. And he the youngest of the group. That's what's crazy. Yeah, he just a negative, yeah, negative Nancy. Let's say that. Is Rod trolling or he did ask? On my mother's life, I'm not going to lie on this story, and I haven't lied yet. Now, I'm saying this because after I get my contract with Zay, I'm finally locked in. Leak, Leak basically say, yo, we just made you some extra money this month, yo. Like, yo, you made extra money. Let's go. We can use this money. You feel me? We can use this money. So I'm like, bet. Now, y'all see me promoting Humble like this. <laughs> All right, y'all. If you're watching this video right now, use code Rod on the Humble merch. I got the I got the, I got the, the brown hoodie on. This joint right here. Right? I got this brown hoodie on. All this. Uh, You feel me? I'm, I, I put it at the end of my YouTube videos. Y'all see me posting on my story. Use code Rod on the Humble merch. All this. Lee got me my first contract. My first brand deal. Yeah, people cold this water bottle, and if you use they cool, you get a little bit of money. No, he say, yo, you getting this money? Just do that. He looked out for me. He looked out. He didn't have to do that. He ain't let. He ain't have to let me in, right? Now he let me in. We get into the car, right? We get into the car, and we about to go out. Everybody about to go out. He said, yo, bro, how much was your contract? I'm like, I don't even know. We ain't confirm it yet, but basically, I it's gonna be a good job. He like, let me see your phone. He has to see my phone and, and he going through me and Zay messages because when me and Zay talking, everybody's in the room. But you don't talk numbers in a room full of people because that's not between them. It's between whoever it is. Now, Leak can see because Leak is my manager. So so Leak Leak is like, mm. so so Leak job is Leak job is the translator. So if nigga hit me up like, yo, bro, you think you could come uh, host my party for 17 hours for six dollars? I tell Leak, fuck no. And Leak transfer it. Yeah, it's not going to happen, but what we can do for you is this amount. Or, uh, yo, we want to book Rod for this. He come to me, yo, Rod, how much you comfortable with doing? I say this price. And he like, you sure? I'm like, mm, probably this. And he go back. 
He went to me and Zay messages. Sue went through me and Zay messages and said, yo, he's giving you this amount of money? He didn't even give us this amount of money. That's fucked up. Now I'm like, chill, bro. Y'all probably like, what is it? He, nah, bro, we've been with Humble since the beginning. How he give you this amount of money? Y'all, it don't matter if, it don't matter if you've been with the brand since 1999. And then Beyonce walk in. She's going to make more money than you. Why you let him see the messages? He asked to see my phone. I'm not going to say what you need it for, bro. I, I'm thinking he my mans, bro. I didn't know how weird niggas w was. So still thinking he my mans after he already did that. He said, I'm not going to say nothing, bro. I just know how to carry it with Zay. So I'm like, bet. Yo, the next day, Zay called me like, yo, bro, you telling people how much we agreed on? That's not how business work, bro. I got to take your contract away. And I didn't ever sign the papers yet, so I couldn't ever be like, no. He made me lose my brand deal. And I wasn't working with Zay for two months after that. And I'm telling, I'm telling Zay, I'm like, yo, I promise, bro. I'm telling him, I'm like, yo, bro, I promise. I'm like, I swear. I'm like, bro, I didn't tell niggas, bro. I, that's not what you do. Drake don't say, yo, Nike gave me this amount of money because now they other clients is going to come to them. Like, yo, Drake get this amount of money and they're going to lose clientele. So now it's like, yo, I just lost the goats because you want to say how much money you got. And mind you, and mind you, Sue, think about Sue by himself as an individual. What rap songs is he on? One. Besides that, you barely dance. Why would you make the same amount of money as a person who got 50000 at this point on YouTube, 60 k on Instagram, and 200 k on TikTok? Why would you make that much as me and compare yourself and make me lose my deal? And now Zay like, yo, bro, you did tell him because I didn't tell him. He like, yo, bro, you, you done. Like, you done. He telling me I'm done. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm telling, I'm telling Leek. I'm like, yo, bro, should I call Sue? That's weird as shit. Like, why would he do that? I call Sue and Sue like, yo, bro, I ain't tell him nothing. So this, this, that's the reason I don't fuck with Sue. Now I'm like, bro, I can't be with Sue now. He's sneaky. So he like, Leek, as being my manager, he take your L on the chin. Next month, we're going to talk to Zay. Next month, we did talk to Zay. And Zay like, yo, we could work again. And we did work again. And that's why we still cool. And that's not, I'm not mad at Zay for doing that. Because at the end of the day, if I got, if I'm signing, if I'm signing Little Baby, I'm signing Too Rare, and then I'm signing Ride under my music deal. And I'm paying niggas according to their worth. And now, and now I got Too Rare saying, damn, bro, I can't get that much. How you gonna pay me this much? You got that amount of money to pay dirt, nigga? I'm, I'm going. And now he lose one of his artists. You gonna be mad like, yo, Roger Dickey. And like, bro, why would, and, and, and I don't think Sue understood, like, why would y'all get, the same amount of money. If a random nigga with no clout joint humble, was he supposed to get the same amount of money as me? No. As Sue? No. You're random. You probably get paid random money. That's how it works. Why? Because when you post your clothes, nobody gives a fuck. But when Rod posts his clothes, people give a fuck. So now I don't fuck with Sue. But Leek basically saying like, don't express how you feel. It's good to have this connection. This, we're just going to play him from a distance. So now we're playing Sue from a distance, right? You feel me? Leek of W Mans, he my manager. Y'all got to remember, my mans and my manager are a separate thing. Me and Leek have conversations as mans, but we never let that. We don't mix business with pleasure. So... Um, next, next John that happened. Now, that's why I don't fuck with Sue. It's, it's, it's individual for, for both of them, right? Now, I still follow Sue on the gram. I just chalked it. I'm like, fuck, right? Now, Dicey, every time I get around him. Yo, thanks for the sub, Dicey. Every time I get around Dicey, he's saying something about rear. So, now, this time, I'm like, yo, bro. I'm like, bro, what's wrong with you? Like, what y'all beefing? He like, what you cool with him? I'm like, yeah, fuck with rear, right? So, he, I don't know, man. And then we all get around Rare together. And then he, what's up, Rare? So I'm like, that's that's fake. So Leek, like, yo, I'm not going to lie. I want to tell Rare. So so um, I'm like, yo, I want to tell Rare too. Like, because if somebody was talking about me, I would want to know. 
So the next time we saw Rare, I'm like, yo, bro, I don't want to start beef or nothing. But Rare, I feel like they're hitting on you. Rare said, yo, he like, you're not the first person to tell me that. Now, Humble Zay felt like I shouldn't have said that. He felt like I was starting drama within his business. He felt like as soon as I joined, drama started. But that's because everybody in the and everybody in the mix was being fake to each other. And it's like, bro, I can't just be fake. I can't, like, I can't hear. That's like me hearing, like, for all for the sake of the business, I let it be fake. Like, that means the business is not a real business. It's not a real empire. Like, it's not It's not real. I can't smile in rear face and say I'm his mans when I know another nigga who's saying his mans is his mans. I can't. I can't stand it, bro. It's so fake. It was bound to happen. Like, we was all going what? Because the plan was, the plan was, everybody said, everybody be together, we're going to go on tour together. That tour never happened because niggas start hating on Rare. And the real hate was coming from Sue, and he was putting it in their heads. And Spence just going with him because he not about to switch on his niggas. I don't feel like Sue, I don't feel like uh, Spence was hating. Even if he said some hating comments, it was bound to happen. Because as you keep hearing hate, that's what you become. That's what you become. So, yeah, I best believe I'm going to tell you. If you're going to tell it, like, so now I'm closer with Rare. So now it become a side thing. But y'all never saw it because at the end of the day, we're not going to mix business with pleasure. We're going to all still go up together. So now we're still doing shows together. But we know in our heads we don't fuck with niggas, right? Now, Rare dropped Cupid and Little Dirt hit him up. Now, this is how I know it was real hate, right? As soon as Rare said, yo, y'all, Little Dirt hit me up. You know what uh, Dice said? Yeah, Lil Dirk hit me up too, bro. All this. Lil Dirk never hit him up. Lil Dirk said, I don't even know who he is when we asked him. So it's like, bro, did you say that to try to be in competition with Rare? Now I really feel like you hate him. Why you just say that? It's like, yo, I tell you something good about me, and now you're trying to say something that's equally good. And we not pointing this shit out, but it's like, bro, that's weird. So rare do the John with little dirt, and 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 he and he get a he get a he get a watch or he, or he get a chain. Next thing you know, dicey. Yeah, I just got my new watch. Right. Lil Uzi hit up. Uh, rare, and now he like yo. Uzi hit hit me up, y'all. Now it's now he posts on TikTok. Yeah, we on the phone with Uzi. He top rocking. He didn't ever say congratulations. He yeah, I'm I'm, I'm we doing a remix. It's like why are we in competition if we in the same group? We peep niggas stop reposting rare and all that. So now that we you not reposting niggas, you in competition. Can never say congratulations. Rare got his jewelry. I'm genuinely saying, bro, I genuinely said in my head, I said, yo, not in my head. I said it to Rare. I said, bro, you motivate me, bro. I don't got enough money to, like, I got enough money to get a watch. But if I buy that watch, I'm going to be broke, bro. I want to be like you. I'm like, that's third. I want I want to grab me a watch. Now, at this time, y'all see that I start supporting Rare more. I start supporting Rare more because it's like, it's nobody else to support. It's only me, Rare, and then Brill didn't pick a side yet at this point. Brill just being Brill. Brill like, yo, I'm not in that. Brill not in it yet. So now I pick my side. I'm not hanging out with the goats no more. I'm hanging out with Rare. Now it's like, niggas like, I saw niggas saying one time like, yeah, bro, you so you, you dicky and Rare. It's like, no, nah, I'm supporting him more because I got to make up for the slack that he don't got. If we don't support each other, who do we got? If the main key pillars, if niggas feel like the pillars in Philly is all these niggas, why the fuck? Why the, why the fuck? Is they just going to stop and we we expect him to, to rise to the top if y'all going to stop supporting him? Think about it. Some of y'all might be popular in school, right? Y'all know about 100 niggas. Y'all know about 100 niggas in your school. If every nigga in that school said, yo, such and such selling candy and y'all stop supporting the poppy store and start supporting your mans, your mans is going to make more money than the poppy store. If you say, yo, I'm going to stop supporting him, I'm going to support him. Your man's is going to go up instead of the other man, bro. 
Why would I post NBA Youngboy and Little Dirk when I could post two rare and dice? I was supporting heavy. So I'm like, I'm not supporting them no more. I'm supporting rare. Them niggas haters. And if they talk about him, that means they talk about me too. And I know they already feel like, and I know they already was clowning me because before I met them, I started making music, right? I started making music like a month before I met them. I was making underground music. My song hit a million, right? Glitch hit a million. Crave You hit a million on Apple Music and Spotify. When I showed them my music, they like dice and the goats in them. I'm like, yo, I want to make something on a party beat though, but this is something I made. The niggas basically said that was ass. Like, yeah, like, this ass. I'm like, that shit had a million though. I use that. I like, and I'm never afraid to promote myself. And when I drop a song, I promote myself. They basically was like, yo, that's ass. They like, what, Rod? You really a weirdo, bro. They like, yo, you drawn, bro. Imagine, imagine if, imagine if I just, imagine if my feelings wasn't even that, like, Imagine if I was, like, insecure, and I'm like, yeah, no, nah, this joint is weird, and I just stop. L? L? I'm asking niggas, yo, we could get on the track? Say, yeah, we got you. Right? And meanwhile, while they being sneaky... Since Rare just got noticed by Little Dirk, Drake noticed Rare. Now, why Why the Philly Goats, Philly Goats started this? Why they not out there with Drake? Because Drake didn't text them. He texts too Rare. So outside, inside the city, it might be looking like Philly Goats. And that's because you're looking at the legacy of everybody. But at the end of the day, outside of the city, you only see who's popping. So Drake hit up too Rare. And if everybody was together, everybody would have came. But since they was hating so much, Drake didn't care how many people came. Drake paid for the flight there, the flight back, the food, all that. We didn't pick the goats for reasons myself, like uh, reasons that I just named. Bro, they getting money from Bona. They living out Bona to Dubai. I don't, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to really speak on a money or anything because. I could really speak speak my true feelings on how I feel about certain things, but then it might turn into like real beef, and now I'm ducking my taco like oh da da like I can fight, but they like they like weirdos, they weirdos. Y'all know how Spence and Brock start trolling. The troll started because of Spence. Brock kept trolling and they threatened Brock's life because Brock was trolling. Like that's the weird shit. Y'all don't see the shit they do, so y'all like yeah y'all hating y'all gotta humble yourselves y'all these niggas weird. We go to the Drake thing, and that really solidify everything. Now it's really like, it's really like, yo, why they not with y'all? Niggas start noticing. Niggas start noticing, like, yo, y'all not with each other? What's what's going on? That's when everybody start knowing. What's going on? Why would you bring niggas who's hating on you? No, we're not going to bring them. We go to the Drake experience. We Drake, we, we in Drake sticky video, blah, blah, blah. Niggas, the Philly Ghost started this. Why y'all ain't bring them? Y'all selfish. Why y'all go? Ah, da, da. Y'all think if he hit up Dice himself that dice wasn't going to go he's going to stay back why because we said so he didn't get the opportunity and he missed his opportunity by hating and not sticking around being thorough that's all because it could have turned into yo we really them niggas let me ask dirk if he could do something with all of us no is yeah dirk, dirk hit me up too when he really didn't really just blocking your blessings and burning your bridges so now it's a separation it's me rare Riggs, and over that side is spence dice boom Right? Boom. After that, after everything is solidified, we get the music video with Lil Dirk, everything going up. Right? Everything going up. Everybody, like, everybody, like, um, happy. Everything, like, everything going good. We realize they start hating on Brill, too. They try to say, like, yeah, Brill, you falling off. And bro ain't fall off. At the end of the day, it was just like his his the clout that he got from looking good start going down. So as a man's rare went to Brill and said, "Yo, start rapping and join our team." And he was already rapping. Now 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 Brill 
start making music and his, his sound start going crazy. You feel me? His sound start going crazy because it's Brill. Brill got clout. Now everybody dancing to his his uh Brill music. Brill dropping his own music. Now Brill chose his side. He with us. You feel me? Now he with us. Now, but he's still not being weird to them until they start being weird to him. So now Brill, now now Brill on this side, right? Now, now, I'm not cool with Dicey because he downplay everything I do. Like, yeah, right, you little dog, little dog. When every alley is like, damn, I make more money than y'all. I get more views on everything than y'all. At the end of the day, y'all, y'all know if you're a real supporter, you know how how much I get banned on TikTok. It don't matter what page I make, a new page, fresh page, it's always just going to come back with me just doing a skit or doing anything because my face is stamped now. If Kai Page get banned on TikTok, his face stamped. The video gonna blow up. It's gonna go crazy every time, and they make they make. I'm not gonna lie, they made me start doubting my self worth, cause I'm like, damn. Why he trying a little boy me? I start thinking, am I actually a little boy? Like, am I not that thorough on other platforms besides YouTube? Then I realized, hold the fuck up. I got two songs that hit a million. I'm consistently growing 10k a month on on YouTube. I'm 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 consistently getting banned and I just I just keep coming back. Like I'm I'm him. I'm him. I start getting more confident in myself. Next thing you know, I I introduce my rapping. I, I introduce my rapping to I introduce my rapping to Rare. And Rare said, Yo, you can rap. I'm gonna put you on our team. He introduced me to his manager. His manager liked my music. Now his manager like, yo, we're gonna pay for you to be in a studio. We're gonna fly you out. When I just went to LA, I didn't pay for that. Since Rare put me on to his manager, Rare manager flew me out, paid for my stuff, paid for my studio time. That's how I made that song with Lay. That's how I just made that new sound that I dropped on TikTok with, with Brill. Because they put me on. Now I can do music. So now it's not staying in your lane. It's, yo, bro, we're going to help you. And his manager don't only do music. He like, yo, bro, you're a real good actor. We're going to get you some acting scenes. Now the boy from Power follow me back. Tyreek, if you go look on Instagram, he followed me back on Instagram. And it was like, yo, we about to help you get acting. So Rare is really helping me. So why why, why wouldn't I be with the niggas who helping me? So if you ask your ride, do you fuck with the Philly Goats? The question is no. So before I answered that question, I was kind of dodging it because like, uh, should I speak on it? No. I don't fuck with them. I don't fuck with niggas who hating on me versus niggas who putting me up. You got to surround yourself with niggas who's actually helping you. Now I'm making songs and, and the sound going up on TikTok. So now when the sound go up on TikTok, I could drop the song. I could drop the music video, right? And now and now I could get booked for shows with my niggas. Now I could tour with them. Now 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 I'm not just a YouTuber. I'm We a group, and we don't got a name for ourselves. So every time we say, and we not trying to speak on it because we don't want to seem like hating niggas. No, every time we say we don't fuck with the Philly Goats is, yeah, y'all niggas hating. Y'all got too big-headed. Y'all don't even see that these niggas haters. And mind you, Lay is loyal to Brill. So since Brill don't fuck with them, Lay don't fuck with them. As far as the twins, the twins be with them, right? The twins, the five star twins. He they be with they be with uh Dicey and them, right? And I realized this. I realized this, and they, they didn't do nothing to me, but let me tell you about the outlier people, right? So you got people like Moosey Vert, if you know who he is. He danced, right? He, he, he was with Uzi and shit. I'm thinking me and Moosey, chill, still cool. The nigga done hit me up days like, yo, bro, we can hang out. I done picked him up. I done dropped the nigga off at his bitch house. We done chill for days. Some days, like, it's certain days I chill with niggas. And I'm thinking we cool. One day I see, like, oh, shit, bro, you real close with Uzi. I'm like, yo, bro, see if you could hook me up with Uzi so I could do something with him on a YouTube type tip. The nigga leave me on scene. And the same day that he leave me on scene, he basically go through something with Rare. So I'm like, damn, you left me on scene because you must be talking about me. I unfollow him. I check my following and I look and I see, damn, Dice unfollowed me and so did Sue. And y'all wasn't going to remove me? Y'all was going to leave me as following? I kept following y'all because at the end of the day, I'm not hating. I don't want to see y'all lose. At the end of the day, I still dance to their sounds. I still help y'all. Let's be let's be pretty frank, bro. On TikTok, my 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 TikTok jump and I don't post that often. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Y'all see this? 1 million views, 1 million. Who sound is this? 
Hold up. This is spent sound. I still dance to it. This was one week ago. This was six days ago. I still dance to the sound. I got one million views. I'm at the top of the sound. Right? I'm not hating on these niggas. Walk you like a dog. Walk you like a dog. Bitch, I walk you. I like Rocky part. Even though I ain't fuck with Dice, I posted it. So even though y'all did all this snaky shit, I'm still supporting y'all. And niggas unfollow me. So I'm like, cool. What about Miz? Miz wanted to really work on something and become a YouTuber. And he start hanging around them, right? As Miz start hanging around them, I'm not gonna lie, they start letting Miz come around. So Miz like, yo, bro. I'm like, yo, we happy for you. They accepted you. We we not that cool with them, but I'm glad they accepted you. Like, get some clout. Like, turn up, bro, so you could become somebody, right? And then as as that's going on, bro, they go to a party, and apparently one of the goats steal a car. They blamed it on Miz. Now, I'm not going to lie. If you were all your homies, and one of them who really not your homie is there, you're going to blame it on them. So I understand why they did it, but they blamed it on Miz. Now the girl like, yeah, I'm going to get Miz killed. All this. I'm like, yo, I know the girl. I'm like, yo, please don't get him killed. I'm like, yo, I'm going to give you the money back that you lost. But it wasn't him. I talked to Miz. I'm like, Miz, talk to me. Imagine it's your birthday. And, a, a, and, and your car gets stolen. And the Philly goats, like, it's him. And she thinking, because cause, cause the goats got clout, they telling the truth. These niggas are still human, and they still liars. So now, after they already blame it on him, and he almost got killed over something he didn't do, he's still hanging with these niggas. So I'm like, yo, bro, stop hanging with these niggas. He's still hanging with them. They start treating him different because I said, yo, bro, just come over here with us, bro, because they treating you wrong. He start coming over here with us. They start treating him wrong, and he danced to their sound. And he and, and he started getting clout off doing his dance, right? And they gonna post, they gonna post on TikTok. Yeah, y'all, we really trendsetters. Who is it? All right, bet. Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, he started doing a lip. He started going up, getting clout from it. So they start posting on on IG. Yeah, Miz, you think you're the shit now? Or or yeah, we really trendsetters. When at the end of the day, everybody under that sound is doing Miz dance. Yes, it's your sound, but don't say Miz, you getting ahead of yourself, bro. Or or um, this R sound, this R wave, we trendsetters. It's like, dang, bro, H- like help Miz out. Don't be weird. So they start being weird to Miz. But that's that's what's up with Miz. But as far as other stuff, I know if Too Rare was to tell his side of the story, it's so much more grimy shit y'all would hear because he said that's not the first time that he heard some grimy shit. He said other niggas been telling him he feel like the ghost is hating on him. So... Every story is different, but that's mine. When y'all stop coming around, look how the views died down. Real shit. Real shit. So when Kai Sinet texted me, he said, yo, bring all your boys. I'm like, bet. Y'all know who I'm bringing. Bring in my guys. Bring in my guys, bro. Every time. And that's why. Yep. Oh, and that's to up to date. It's definitely stamped now, bro. They talk shit all the time. And the management team over there keep trying to hit us up. Like, yo, people keep saying, like, yo, if y'all was together, y'all would be big. If y'all was together, y'all would be big. We separated ourselves from these niggas, and they're going down. So why we even... Let's say, yo, fuck, fuck the beef. Let's be on business terms and go up together. Why we want to go with them now? We left them and we separated and they start going down. So why would we even want to lower ourselves to bring them back up to say, yeah, we united? So now when you hear them say like, yeah, Philly Ghost, we the one who started all this. They throwing shots at us. Um, As far as you cool with money, yeah. So, uh, so if you ask who on my side, who do I fuck with? I fuck with J Money. I fuck with Raw. If y'all know, uh, he the cameraman. Uh, I'm about to tell y'all what happened at Powerhouse. I fuck with Brill, Rare, Riggs, Leak. That's us. 
and all the mother niggas on the other side. It's us versus everybody. And that's just how I feel. Um, now at Powerhouse, um, they perform or whatever. They get off. We perform. As we about to go on, they look at Brock and they like, oh, and Brock, and Brock, Brock is with us too. My fault. Um, you fuck with Wuda. I fuck with Wuda heavy, y'all. But honestly, like speaking, I don't fuck with how he, he fuck with me when he want to. Like, we've been locked in as of like the last three months, but I don't fuck with, like when I, when I first wanted to fuck with him, he basically like wasn't trying to fuck with me because I was smaller. And it's like, damn, it took me to get like more subs to like for you to fuck with me or like it's like damn bro like me and him me and me and Wuda went, went, went through it too if y'all remember and when we went through it it was basically because I told him about himself he was being an L man to one of our friends and I told him like yo you an L man and he basically was like fuck you and moved to Houston like you feel me and we didn't talk and we made up but it's like I have no real reason to be like yo we locked in like, Rare genuinely look out for me. Briggs genuinely protect my life. Brock genuinely care for, like, these people. But it's like, I fuck with him. Yeah, but it's like... Yeah. But I still fuck with him. Like, I fuck with him a lot. Yeah, like, and he only claimed Philly when we start going up. Besides that, he ain't give a fuck about his characters. Um, but... Y'all should have two later come with y'all to Kai stream. Lay cool and all that. But I don't mix lay in with the guys' trips, cause it but it turned into a lay and brill trip. So and lay don't get and and brill don't get work done when he went her. So it's like I got separated. I got separated. Um, but besides that, um, we was at powerhouse, and uh, as we like, they was like, yeah, Brock, you a bitch. Like you feel me? He like yeah, Brock, you a bitch, and he was like yeah, whatever. And they basically, like, try to lean in and slap Brock or whatever. But we got security. And our security, like, yo, we not on that. And they was basically, like, just looking us up and down. And it's like on some, it's like on some, like, have y'all ever watched, like, Temptations or group, like, uh, music group videos of Jack and Jackson 5? And it's like, yeah. They, they just, we just looking each other up and down as we swap places to perform. Like, yeah, it's our turn. You feel me? And as a W man's. To Rare, I just, I, every time I talk to Rare, I don't have deep talks with him. Because, like, yeah, we locked in, but we haven't been locked in for years for me to say, yo, Rare, on some real shit, blah, blah, blah. But when I do talk to him, I say, yo, Rare, like, turn up. And I genuinely mean it. I look him, I look him in his eyes, I say, yo, bro, turn the fuck up. And I told him when we was performing, I said, yo, they performance was ass. Let's go. Rare hopped on the speaker. You feel me? He did his tribute because Rare genuine. Who tried to slap Brock? Uh, Spence. But that's the story. That's to the conclusion. That's everything. Y'all got any questions? Y'all got any extra questions? I'm going to answer everything. Ask me now. To you and Kai. Oh, that's tough. Y'all got any extra questions? Ask me now. So Spence, the only cool one, he didn't unfollow me. And I'm not aware, though, so I didn't unfollow him. Let me check right now before I speak. Nope, he ain't unfollow me, so I didn't unfollow him. Like, I didn't start all this. Uh, so is this real beef? So I was like not scared, but I was tempted to tell the story because I feel like once I told it, once real shit come out, it's gonna make it real beef. So it might become that. Like it's it's not getting better. Why they threaten Brock? Because Brock was tro they trolled Brock first and then Brock start trolling back. 
Like, they, like, yeah, Roach came out, yeah, Mary's, like, it's like, bro, he don't there got Mary's. They just start saying shit to get laughs. Like, when you and Riggs getting back in TikToks, whenever, it don't matter. Why would, why Nas never with you on trips? Trips are expensive. They're very expensive. Like, to go to ATL within one day to see Kai, that was a $700 flight. So, and my team not going to pay for him when when uh he's not the artist so if i'm if i'm not paying for it my team paying for it so it's just very expensive to travel with two niggas so it's kind of like it's kind of like oh we just signed this deal i'm bringing me in the gang we made it and then you go broke and you how we go broke because you had to book three four rooms every time with five six flights so everybody can't come we gotta come be my manager i was signing a contract you want to start still speak that's my game Wooda with y'all too. In a way. When you dropping the YouTube. Yeah, not still my bro, not my guy. I think Leak Up's jerk. But that's the story time. What happened to Wiz? Wiz dried up and then the Philly Ghost dropped him. That's what happened. Yeah. Where you at? Yeah. 